Hi everyone, so today we are going to draw this complicated figure shown on the screen. So the first step when we uh, draw a figure as complicated as this is to first identify the center points. So we have here our center points. So we will start from here. So we, this is our center point number one. This is our center point number two. Center point number three. And then that's it, yeah? Now, um, if you don't have the center lines yet, now you have to draw the center lines. But if you already have the center lines in your paper, then you just draw directly the elements of the center points. So we'll start with center point number one. Okay, so we have here a polygon, yeah? This is a hexagon, one, two, three four five six so the the measurement of our hexagon is 12 yeah its side is 12 mm okay so we need to draw the um, circle that is radius 12 okay so let's draw the circle here with the radius 12 so 12 this is 12 yeah so now draw a circle this is our center point here draw a circle so your line should be very transparent because this is a construction line it should be a transparent line so now you have the circle you need to identify the intersection so intersection is here and then there's another intersection here so okay let's uh, put our needle here position our needle here and then we are going to draw an arc on top and then another arc at the bottom okay and then on the right side we will do the same so we have an arc at the bottom and then another arc on top all right so now we have the intersections so once we have the intersections you can easily draw the Line. So we will draw a line. We'll draw the line. Okay. And then we have another line here. And then we have a line. And then another line. And then there is another line. Okay. And then the last. it let's also clean this one okay okay so now we will reduce this one little bit reduce this one little bit we will only retain a small small arc construction line so next is we have this center line here this one so the size of this circle is diameter 42 is diameter 42 is the same as radius 21 so let's open our compass to radius 21 okay so radius 21 this is radius 21 so we'll position our needle here and draw a center line okay draw a center line then next we have this circle here this one this is diameter 68 so diameter 68 is radius 34 so we are going to open our compass to radius 34 so 34 okay so radius 34 now here radius 34 and now we are going to draw these small circles here this small circle so we have here angle 45 degrees so this one and this angle here is the same ok 
Okay, so now, now that we have a line, then we can draw the circles. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So actually this is 8, okay, 8 holes at 10 mm diameter. So 8 holes at 10 mm diameter. So 10 mm diameter is the same as radius 5, okay? So radius 5. So uh, radius 5, so let's open our compass. We'll open our compass to radius 5. And then we are going to draw it here. This is our center. One. So we are going to uh, first make this one into a center line because that is a center line. So we're going to break our line. Alright, so now now let's proceed to our center point number two so we have this small circle here which is radius 10 okay so radius 10 so this one is radius 10 so 10 mm let's open our compass to radius 10 and then we'll draw it here and then next is this circle here which is radius 20. Okay, so just look at the arrow. Where is it pointing? So this one is radius 20. So we are going to draw here radius 20. Alright, so radius 20. Radius 20. Finish. Now we have uh, center number 3 here. So we have this small circle, radius 8. So we will draw a circle of radius 8. Radius 8. So this one is radius 8. So radius 8. Okay. And then we have a circle. This one is a polygon with a side of 14. So the side of our polygon is 14. Open our compass. 14. So 14. 14 this one yeah so 14 so again this is a construction line this should be drawn uh, transparent shafaf wagit shafaf okay so now we have intersection here and another intersection here so let's point our needle at this point okay and let's draw a tiny little arc and then same on the left and right so left and right and then on top do the same okay and then okay and then now you can draw the sides of your hexagon with a ruler So this one would be our hexagon here. So next one is uh, this circle, this one, which is uh, diameter 50. So diameter 50 is the same as radius 25. Okay, so radius 25. We're going to open our compass to radius 25. Okay, and then we are going to draw this circle. Okay, now, okay, next. So we have already finished. And now we are going to connect them all together. So we will connect them. This line to this line is how much? 18. 18. So 18, so that means this is 9. Okay, and then 9. Okay, so 9 left, 9 right. So 9, 9 here. And then this one also is 9. Okay. And then, so, construction line. And then we have here another line here. So, okay. 
and then okay so do we have here and now from this point this line here so we have 19 19 so 19 is uh, 9 9.5 and then we have here 9.5 so, okay 9.5 up 9.5 down so we're going to measure here 9.5 up and 9.5 down um, here 9.5 okay and then we have so okay and then we're going to bring the t square okay like that so we're going to draw this line here this is a construction line okay so from here we'll start all right and then we will have another one here okay and then all right next so from uh, here up to here is 45 from this point to going to this point is 45 so we're going to measure 45 45 where is it this one yeah so this center line here okay 45 so from here let's measure 45 45 okay so we're going to uh, point a uh, draw point or make a point here at line 45 and then we are going to uh, draw a line okay so line 145 so construction line okay construction line 145 so we're going to uh, draw a point here of 145 so now we have here okay okay and then we will extend this line later on and now we have uh, this line this line this line which is touching this line this uh, circle here so we're going to draw this one here touching it like that all right here okay and then uh, it has a line also from here up to here which is 65 so 65 65 so 65 65 is here yeah so we're going to draw a line 65 here 65 <coughs> and let's extend this line 65 65 okay and uh, same for here so 65 mm. So it's here, sir. Yeah? Okay. So let's draw a point 65 here. Okay. And then bring your T square. Draw the. Okay. Draw the line 65. Draw the line 65. Okay. And then now we are going to draw this one. See, there's a line here, and there's also a line here, right here, at uh, this point here, like that, and then there's another one here, like that. This one is external tangent so external tangent our uh, radius for this arc is 90 okay so 90 is uh, tangent to this circle okay so tangent to this circle the size of this circle is r20 so 90 minus 20 is equal to 90 minus 20 is equal to 70 okay radius 70 so radius 70 all right okay so we're going to make an arc to draw an arc okay and then and then next this one so here touching with this point this one and this one sir. so this one is tangent to this point, this line at this circle with the di di diameter 68 which is the same as radius 34 okay so it was radius 34 let's do it here so 90 minus 34 is equal to 56 6 so 50 56 so 56 okay 
is here. Yeah? And then now we can open our compass to radius 90. So let's open our compass to radius 90. 90 here. Okay, so this will be our center. Let's, be, let's put it a little bit bigger. And now check if it's touching. Okay, it's touching. Alright, so tangent. Tangent. So draw the arc. And then... Okay, perfect. Okay, now next. This, so we're going to erase this one. Okay, and then erase this one. Okay, so now... And then, next, we have this. Okay, so this one is R32. 32. 32. Touching here, diameter 50. So, this is internal tangent. So, this is 32 plus 25. So, diameter 50 is, is equal to radius 25. Sa? Okay. So, 32 plus 25 is equal to 57. So, 57. So, 57. So, I need to open our compass to 57. 57. Uh, draw an arc. And then... This one, okay? So it's touching here, so, so this and this. So now this one is 32. 32 minus, I mean, plus 20. Okay, so 32 plus 20 is equal to 52. Okay, internal tangent. So 52. So open your compass, 52. 52 is here, okay. So we're going to draw an arc here, small little arc. And then we can now open the compass to radius 32. So 32. So open compass to radius 32. Radius 32. Okay, and now it's going to touch here. Yeah, and touch here. Okay, so draw an arc. Perfect. Alright. Next, um, uh, this one. So this arc is also internal tangent. Internal tangent. So radius is 45. Touching with this circle and touching with this circle. Okay, so this circle is um, diameter 50, radius 25. So 45 plus. 25 is equal to is equal to um, 70 40 50, 60 70 okay so 70 so open your compass to radius 70 radius 70 radius 70 and where is it it's touching here yeah this is our center and we're going to draw an arc here somewhere here don't worry we're going to erase it later on so draw an arc and then we have also here this one is uh, 45 Plus this circle, okay? So this is the other 68, same as uh, 34. So 45, 45, plus 34, put this. 34 is equal to 79, okay? 79, 79. So let's open our compass to radio 79, 79 here. So 79, okay, so here. So we're going to just draw a small intersection here. Okay, that's it, 79. And now, this is our center point here. Now we can open the compass to radius 45. So open your compass to radius 45. 45 is here. 45. Okay, so 45. This is our center point. And we are going to see if it's touching. Check if it's touching. And it is touching. Perfect, yeah? So now we're going to do an arc. Touching this circle. We're going to erase this one. Erase our arc. Erase it properly and neatly. This one also we need to erase it a little bit. Okay. Alright, so now next. Next we're going to clean this also. Clean. This one. Clean. Okay. Now, uh, next, we have this uh, um, this one here. Okay. So this one is R10. So R10. So R10. So we're going to draw this one to from here going here to 10. And then, so uh, we need to draw a line here at 10. And then. And then, um, from here, so this circle, this one is diameter 68, is 34, 34 plus 10. So 34, 34 plus this one, plus 10, is equal to 44, is equal to 40, 44. So 44, now we're going to open our compass here, 44, 44, and the center is here, okay? Now we're going to draw an arc, a little bit, a little arc. Okay, now we have our center point, and now we can open the compass. To radius 10. Okay. So 10. Radius 10. And then this is our 
center and now we can draw this on yeah it's touching perfect okay and then do the same for the left side so then so draw a very small line of 10 and then open the compass 44 44 44 is here and then this would be our center here and then draw a an arc and now open the compass to radius 10 radius 10 here okay so let's okay it's touching mm. now next next one um this uh so we have this one also this is r6 radius 6 so radius 6 radius 6 radius 6 so from here radius 6 draw an arc So here, ready six, and then also ready six, and then draw an arc, and then also ready six, draw an arc, and then we can now draw this one. So, okay, all right, perfect. And then, and then we have here mm -hmm. next. So, mm, next. Um, this one, same, uh, radius 14, radius 14, okay, so 14, so we're going to draw a line of 14, 14 here, 14, uh, 14, so draw a line of 14, 14, so 14, okay, and then uh, we are going to calculate radius 14 plus 25. Okay, so 25 because of touching, it's touching in the circle. So, so 14, 14 plus 25 for this circle, 25 is equal to 14 plus 25 is equal to 39. So 39. So open the compass, 39. Thirty-nine here. Thirty-nine. Okay. So from here, thirty-nine. Okay. So thirty-nine. And now we can open the compass to radius fourteen. So fourteen. Fourteen is here. So now this is fourteen here, and now it is touching perfectly. Okay. Next. So do the same at the bottom. So I draw a line of fourteen. Draw line 14. Draw line 14 here. 14 is this one, yeah? Alright. So we're going to draw line here, 14. And open the compass to 39. 39. 39. 39 is here. So 39 from here. This is the center. And we are going to draw an arc. And now we can draw this arc we will open our compass to radius 14 so radius 14 is here radius 14 this one is radius 14 radius 14 and then we can draw the, the arc all right let's move it a bit okay now it's touching perfectly all right mm, not much so we need to adjust a little bit because it should, it should match the the top Okay, all right, next. Next one is, we have here the same. Uh, this one, it's the same. Radius 10, radius 10. So, radius 10, open compass to radius 10. So, we have here, this is this point here. 10, and then down also, we have 10. And then from here, we need to draw an arc. And then also an arc. And now we can draw this tangential arc here, touching these two lines, perpendicular lines. Alright, like that. Okay, next. So this one, this one is also the same. So radius 18. So open your compass to radius 18. 18 is here, yeah? Okay. 
so 18 18 and then we have here 18 okay okay so now from here okay so we're going to draw an arc here and then there's another arc we draw, we'll draw another arc uh -huh, it's too small so let's add it a bit more okay and now this is our center point here touching this one so it should touch perfectly if it's not touching check Perfect, yeah? Okay. So now we're going to draw this perfectly. Alright, next. Okay, so next one. Um, uh, so we have this also, radius 18, same procedure. 18. So this one's already 18, 18. So now it's here, so. So, arc. And then draw an arc a little bit. And now, draw an arc. And then there's also another arc. So your arc should be transparent so that your drawing will not look very dirty. So now it's touching. If it's not touching, you uh, check your compass. And then now it is touching perfectly. Alright, so like that. Okay, next. Okay, now we're going to draw, we are going to uh, draw this one. Okay, so this one is an arc tangent to, uh, um, tangent to uh, an arc tangent to two lines. So we're going to draw this one. So we're going to draw this arc here. So this is R5. So radius 5. Radius 5, we're going to draw a line, radius 5. So actually there's a procedure for this, but this is too small that it would rather look make our drawing dirty. <clears throat> okay, so we're going to draw a line, diagonal line. So we're going to mark the 5 here. It is too big. <sighs> okay, 5. And then we have also here we have five, okay, and then we are going to draw a diagonal line of five, so five. So we can use a compass for this, but it's, it's too small, so we will just uh, draw a diagonal line here, like that, and then we'll bring the T square up, so we can draw a horizontal line here, like that, and now we have that center line. So now we have the center line. So we can open to radius, radius five. This and this is the same. Okay, so radius five, radius five. All right. Now we can point it here. This is our uh, center point, and now we can draw the arc. If it's not touching properly, then you adjust a little bit. Adjust a little bit. Uh, it should be five. It should be touching. Okay. Alright, so like that. Mm. And then same for the bottom. Draw line 5. 5, okay. 5, not the 5. And then this one also 5. Okay, so draw line. Line five, and then we have the line also of five. Okay, so now you have that center line. So it should touch. If it's not touching, you need to adjust a little bit, maybe because. Uh, your, your dimension, I mean your measurement is not accurate. Okay, like that. Okay, now we need to clean up our drawing. So we have finished all the arcs. Finished. Oh, there's one more here. So there's one more here. And uh, this one is also R6. R6 here. So R6. So we have here 6. Alright. And then nukta, point 0.6. And then here point six, so okay. And then an arc. Draw an arc here. And then there's another arc here. And then R six. So six. 
Object lines. Mm, okay. And then we also will also connect this line here. And then we have here. Just a minute. Alright, so here. Mm -hmm. Just touching here. So touching this line here. Alright. And then we have one here. Okay. And then the side will contest. And then this line here also. And don't forget this one here. So now we can draw the vertical line. We'll use the set square to draw the vertical line. <laughs> okay, so we have here. Uh, no. And then there's another line here. Down. So you need to adjust it a little bit. In real drawing, you need to draw it neat and clean. Okay, so now, um, let's draw this one. Also, we have here. Oh. Okay. Okay, use the ruler. And then this. And here. Okay. Now, uh, let's uh, also erase this. This one here. It's also too big. And that's it. Okay, so you can... Okay. Alright, now... Um, you can draw the... This one? The... Uh, um, dimensions? So let's draw the dimensions. So let's start it here. Okay, so... Let's start with... Uh, dimension line is... So now we can write 8 holes at 10 mm diameter. So you write it properly. This is engineering drawing. And then uh, the dimension also. So we have here. another one here and then all right now intersection one two bus one Okay, guidelines. One and another one on top. 